There have been lots of inquiries about minor work certificates for electrical work carried out in people's homes. Not just from electricians. Some have come from concerned homeowners who say they have received no paperwork at all from the tradesmen. So, in this short video, we'll look at when we should issue a certificate, what for and why, as it relates to the wiring regulations. This Learn Electrics video will concentrate just on the Minor Works Certificate, or to give it its full title, the Minor Electrical Installation Works Certificate. This is often shortened to MEIWC or MWC. People are asking for information on what needs notifying. Must they issue a certificate for everything that they do and when should they use a minor electrical installation works certificate? What does BS 7671 wiring regulations say about this? And we will be making reference to the Brown Amendment 2 book. Take a look at regulation 644.1 and in summary it tells us that upon completion of the verification of a new installation or an addition or alteration to an existing installation an electrical installation certificate shall be issued to the person ordering the work and then a little further down the page is regulation 644.4.201 where the work does not include a new circuit or the replacement of a consumer unit or distribution board, a minor electrical installation works certificate may be provided as an alternative to an electrical installation certificate. So, we shall issue an electrical installation certificate. That is a must-do for certain work. However, if the work is classed as minor, then we may, if we wish, write out a minor works certificate instead. All these shalls and shoulds are explained on page 18 of the Brown Wiring Regs book. There is additional information in the Electrician's Guide to the Building Regulations in Chapter 1 and more information in the On-Site Guide in Appendix G. If you have these books, take a look. They are very user-friendly books. The rule that I always applied was that if I had to use a tool to do the job, a screwdriver, a hammer, etc., then I should be thinking about issuing a certificate, either an electrical installation certificate or a minor works certificate. You have to test your work when you finish, whatever the job is, so why not just issue a certificate anyway? You have all the data to complete it, and it enhances your professional image in the eyes of the customer. It takes just minutes to complete a minor electrical installation works certificate. Look at the model form of the certificate on page 513 of the regs book. And all other minor works certificates will be modelled on this. It is made up of five separate parts, plus a box for your signature and contact details. Each part deals with a specific item and is very easy to complete. Every section should be completed in full. There is no need to leave gaps. The information required is readily available to you. Part 1 asks for the customer's name and address where the work is carried out. If you use job references or certificate numbers, enter this too. The date of completion must be inserted. Give a detailed description of the work carried out. State the amendment date or amendment number that you were working to. In most cases, there should be no exceptions for the work that you carry out. Your work should be all OK. And comment on anything you notice about the rest of the installation. It covers your duty of care in advising the customer and you may get more work out of it. The date of completion must be inserted. Think about it. This is your guarantee start date. And do give a detailed description of the work carried out. Again, think about this too. If you specify exactly what the work is, you can't be responsible for something going wrong in another room. I had this. A small fire in a kitchen was investigated by the fire brigade. Because my certificate said I worked in the lounge, I was in the clear. 
My certificate showed that I never went into the kitchen. Part 2. Ask questions about the earthing and bonding to the installation. The type of earthing and the zeddy for the installation. This is a live test and you must be competent at undertaking this test safely. For part 3, we will specify the type of property. Is it a house, a bungalow, a flat? Where is the consumer unit or distribution board located? What is the reference name and number for the circuit? And what are the installation reference methods? What about the fuses, breakers, RCDs, etc.? All easy to gather information. Part 4 is about the test results. These are the very basic, the minimum tests that should be carried out. Remember safe isolation before starting work and before carrying out dead tests. And part 5 is your declaration that all is correct and safe as noted on the certificate. This is a legal document that can be produced in a court of law and should be treated with respect. You are about to sign for this. And now for contact details for the business. We should always leave details of how to get in touch. After all, if you are proud of our work, the customer may pass your details on to their friends and generate you more work. And then the all-important signature, job title and date of signing. So what work needs a certificate? And what work is notifiable work? And what is not? This little chart will help. I've included the most common work on here, but it is by no means exhaustive. As the chart will show, any work in zones 0, 1 or 2 of special locations, such as bathrooms and shower rooms, and including zone 3 in sauna rooms, is notifiable, regardless of which type of certificate it is written on. Non-notifiable work that needs a minor works electrical installation certificate would be adding extra sockets or extra lights to an already existing circuit in non-special locations. Or outside lights from an existing circuit. Or lighting and power into conservatories and so on. People ask about replacing consumer units. These are notifiable and should be on a full electrical installation certificate. As should the installation of new circuits to an existing installation. There is another option available to us. A minor electrical installation works certificate may be issued for like-for-like -like replacement of certain equipment such as accessories, sockets or luminaires, but some electricians will choose not to write out a certificate. But the regulations still require that even if a minor electrical installation works certificate is not issued, the appropriate inspection and testing should always be carried out, however minor the work is. So why not spend another five minutes actually completing the minor work certificate and leave the customer happy that he has a piece of paper from you? And if you need a reminder of the bathroom zones, they are all explained in our video on zones in bathrooms and Part P to Amendment 2 of the regulations. And we'll leave a link to this in the description. We hope you've enjoyed the video and we thank you for watching. It really is appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you'll find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com And don't forget, you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.